So question four says a ball of a ball x of mass ten kg. So for ball x we have m equals to ten kg. It's moving eastwards with a velocity of two meters per second. So let's say we take an east as positive, right? So we're gonna have uh, v equals to two meters uh, per second. It collides elastically uh, more on that later with another ball y of mass 2 kg so y uh, we have mass equals to 2 kg and then uh, it was moving with an unknown velocity vy so we have v equals to uh, vy and then immediately after the collision uh, ball x comes to rest so if uh, 2 meters per second is our v initial and uh, then vf equals to zero for ball x right and then ball y moves eastward eastward with a kinetic energy of 36 joules so we have a uh, kinetic energy equals to 36 uh, joules and then the first question 4.1 says uh, explain the meaning of the term elastic collision a collision is elastic if the sum of uh, potential energy uh, before equals to the sum of uh, potential energy after and the second uh, condition the sum of kinetic energy before is also equals to the sum of uh, kinetic energy um, after if uh, the sum of the kinetic energy before is not equal to the sum of the kinetic energy after then that collision is deemed inelastic so 4.2 says concrete velocity vy which formula are we going to use we're going to use this formula here that says uh, kinetic energy before equals to kinetic energy after usually most often than not if you give a definition on 4.1 and then 4.2 says calculate then you're going to calculate using that definition so if we say ek uh, before equals to ek after um then ek before it will be 1 over 2 mv x uh, initial squared right for um, ball x and then plus 1 over 2 mv y uh, initial squared equals to uh, 1 over 2 mv x final squared uh, plus 36 joules right uh, for the kinetic energy of ball y we don't have to calculate it because it is already given uh, to us as 36 joules so what is uh, the velocity of um, ball x before the collision uh, that is 1 over 2 uh, multiplied the mass 10 kg and the velocity is said to be 2 meters per second and then uh, we square that plus um, what we supposed to determine velocity vy that will be 1 over 2 uh, the mass is 2 kg uh, multiplied by vy squared which is equals to uh, what is uh, the velocity of a uh, ball x after the collision is 0 right so we're just gonna have 0 uh, plus 36 so um, 1 over 2 multiplied by 10 uh, multiplied by 2 squared uh, will take it to the right hand side so we're just gonna have uh, 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by vy uh, squared equals to 36 uh, minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 10 uh, multiplied by 2 squared All right so after this uh, we're gonna divide both sides by 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 so we're gonna get uh, v uh, y squared equals to 36 uh, minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 10 uh, multiplied by 2 squared uh, everything divided by 1 divided by 2 uh, multiplied by 2 so if you take uh, square roots of both sides you get vy equals 2 let me put that in my calculator real quick so i have 36 minus 1 over 2 uh, multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 squared divided by 1 basically uh, that gives me uh, vy squared equals to 16 so we have vy equals to 4 
uh, meters per second and then now we're supposed to put the direction right uh you can see that uh, the velocity of vy is four meters per second so if vy was moving to the east then there was no way they were gonna collide because it's moving faster than uh, ball x in the same direction so it only makes sense that uh, vy was moving four meters per second uh, to the west right that's the only uh, way they could uh, collide and then now moving forward 4.3 it uh, says uh, the ball the balls were in contact with each other for 0 0.1 second so we have delta t equals to 0 0.1 second and then says calculate the magnitude of the force uh, that ball x exerted on ball y during the collision you should know that in this kind of question we cannot use f net equals to ma uh, to find the the force that is being exacted by ball x and ball y because it's a momentum based question so we're gonna use the f net equals to uh, delta p divided by delta t right it only makes sense so we're gonna say that this is equals to uh mass of ball uh, x uh, it is said to be 10 kg so we're gonna have 10 kg and then uh, vf uh, was zero right and so we're gonna have zero there uh, minus two meters per second uh, everything divided by 0 0.1 so this is gonna give us uh, minus uh, 20 divided by 0 0.1 uh, which will give us uh, minus 200 uh, newtons